Now, how do we know that what we're eating is exactly what is advertised on the packet? Well, the Institute for Global Food Security at Queen's University, Belfast, helps to detect fraud along the supply chain and to improve the quality of animal feed, soil, crops and the health and welfare of farm animals, not just here in the UK, but across the world. We went to Belfast to see how the Institute's research is promoting the highest standards of food integrity. In this laboratory, they test food to see if it's what it's claimed to be. This is a surgical knife that surgeons would often use uh, in theatre for cancer surgery. Uh, so we're going to use it to cut into a, a beef sample which contains heart in it. This is some of the most specialist equipment in any UK university. You can see there's a smoke getting produced. That's getting sucked through this plastic tubing attached to the knife and into the mass spectrometer. It's a trial run, testing the machine's ability to identify anything other than beef. And it's worked. So-called food integrity is the overarching theme of research at the Institute for Global Food Security, which grew out of the School of Biological Sciences at Queen's University, Belfast. As well as identifying food fraud, the scientists at the Institute for Global Food Security also try to make food and farming techniques better, because it's forecast there will be 9 billion people on this planet by 2050, and that means we must produce more food in the next 50 years than we did in the past 500. Our work is focused on three areas. One is the production of food with a lower environmental footprint. Secondly, it's improvements in, in, in safety, in authenticity. And thirdly, it's improvements in the quality and particularly the nutritional quality of the food we produce. In this lab, they're trying to find a way to reduce the methane that cows, sheep and other farmed animals produce through their digestive systems. The livestock contribute about 14% of the global greenhouse gases. Sharon and her team are investigating whether new types of food and selective breeding could reduce how much gas the cows and sheep emit. We have a growing population, we need to feed that population but what we don't want are consequences to the environment. Chris Elliott knows more than most about that growing appetite for meat. He's the Institute's founder and also carried out the independent review of the British food supply chain following the horse meat scandal. When we look for fraud in any type of food commodity or any type of food ingredient, we find it. I say from salt to saffron. And a lot of our work is about doing really high-powered analytical chemistry, looking at the fingerprinting of foodstuffs now and looking for abnormal fingerprints. When we find an abnormal fingerprint, we then investigate it and find out why. One of the big success stories here has been identifying that around a quarter of the oregano we buy in supermarkets is padded out with cheaper ingredients. And they hope their research will help inspectors use little tools like this to check anywhere if it's the real thing. Queen's has earned a reputation for pioneering research. Food science here was judged number one in the UK in the most recent REF assessment, the standard by which modern universities are increasingly judged. By sharing that research expertise, Queen supports the agri-food industry, which is central to the local economy. Devonish Nutrition is among Northern Ireland's biggest exporters, a producer of specialist animal feeds and supplements. We send samples to Queen's every week. Uh, they screen them for undesirables. You'll get a profile of what a raw material should look like. And we will then test every batch that we receive to ensure that it's, just, uh, it's the same consistency and quality. Their relationship is also about enhancing products. Together they've developed an omega-3 enriched chicken feed, which enriches their meat and eggs with one of those good fats of which we keep being told we should eat more. This is the product here that we'd feed to the chickens. Okay. And that's absorbed into their... Which is omega-3 enriched. Omega-3 enriched chicken. Okay, and how much of a game changer is that for you guys as a, as a product and for the industry? This is a massive game, game changer for us. This, is, uh, this has gone global. Uh, it's been recognised in, in America, um, right across Europe. Back in Belfast, the Institute has outgrown its first home and will soon move into new state-of-the-art teaching and lab facilities helping it remain at the forefront of biological science for the next generation of students and researchers.